All right, I'm procrastinating because I'm supposed to be shoeing, uh, which we'll, we'll get to here in a minute. But anyway, we've I've had several questions on different breeds, and, and had one guy comment and say, well, why don't you just say you only like Border Collies? Um, uh, I don't only like Border Collies. I actually like all dogs. But I've been through enough dogs and I've tried enough different breeds that at, at this point in my life, if I'm going to own one, it's going to be a Border Collie and, and perhaps a Kelpie. I, I do have a Kelpie right now that I really like. Um, but there was a time I, I didn't like Border Collies. They weren't tough enough. I didn't think they were. Um, it wasn't until I got Zorro until I, I thought one was, was tough enough. I mean, uh, and that's the God's honest truth. I didn't like them. I mean, they, they had a lot of work to them. They, they'd stare at them, but they wouldn't bite. So when I got Zorro, that, that pretty much changed everything. And, um, and, and don't think that just because it's a border collie that I'm going to, I'm going to like it. Cause that's not the case either. I see all kinds of border collies at trials and stuff that I, I wouldn't own. Um, now does that mean they're bad dogs? No, that, that means they don't fit my criteria of what a cow dog is. And I'm, I'm harder on my own dogs and, and more picky than I am on anybody else's because I don't have to work them, so I don't. I don't care. So when when I'm talking about these dogs, th these are my opinions and my experiences I've had with these dogs, um, and that's all I can give you. Now, what you do with that information really doesn't matter to me either, because like I said, you have to work the dog, not me. Um, it's not something that I'm gonna put up with. Um, now back to the border collie there's only certain lines of them that i'll even consider um you know i mean there's i'm sure there's a diamond in the rough around every corner just haven't found it and and even the border call you know i talked about consistency uh it's tough to have consistency to, to it's tough to consistently produce cow dogs even with the border collies um because people haven't been breeding them for for cow dogs they have but there hasn't been enough guys breeding with the same ideals for long enough um, genetics is a big part of, of what you're going to get and then you also have to look at the individual in front of you and be real honest about where that dog's strong where he's weak um, you know some guys worry about how clean they bite and and that's fine because that's that's what they're looking for. I'm looking for a dog that is biddable, but strong enough to dominate cattle when need be. That's what I'm. That's what I breed for. That's what I want. Now, do do I like a dog that bites high on the back end or or tries to jerk an ear off? I, I mean, it's not ideal. But am I, am I going to look past that dog because he's not clean enough biting? No. Mm -mm. I mean, you look at some of them dogs and they'll do whatever it takes to get the job done. And that's the kind of dog that I want and what I breed for. So don't think that my opinion on these other dogs that I think the Border Collie is all great and fine and the best. Um, some of them are, but not all of them. Definitely not all of them. All right, well, I procrastinated long enough. I got to get to shoeing. Thanks for watching, guys.